to the Novartis Pharmaceutical Lab, where methylphenidate or Ritalin is synthesized on a daily basis to treat the nearly 2 million cases of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, also known as ADHD. <clears throat> this disor disorder is commonly diagnosed in children, adolescents, and adults. Ritalin is a Schedule II controlled substance falling into the same category as cocaine and morphine. Likewise, it is very potent and can be easily abused. When taken, Ritalin acts as a stimulant to the central nervous system as it prevents the reuptake of dopamine in the synapses of certain neurons. Now we'll take a look at some of the history and biological importance of Ritalin. The history of ADHD dates all the way back to the early 1900s when scientists began studying children that were easily distracted, hyperactive, and impulsive. In 1944, Ritalin was first synthesized by a pharmaceutical company named CIBA, which is now known as the Novartis Pharmaceutical Company. Early on, Ritalin was also used to treat signs of depression in adults, but was mostly used in the treatment of hyperactive syndrome, also known as ADHD. The synthesis of methylphenidate was approved by the FDA and is classified as an amphetamine or simulant type drug. According to the Center for Disease Control, CDC, the number of patients diagnosed with ADHD is on the rise. The number of cases have exceeded more than 2 million just in the United States. Now let's jump to biological importance of methylphenidate. Children that are diagnosed with ADHD generally have insufficient amounts of two chemicals that control attention and behavior in the brain. These two chemicals are dopamine and noradrenaline. When prescribed Ritalin, the levels of these two chemicals remain increased because Ritalin blocks the reuptake of them near the synapse of transporting cells. The increased activity of dopamine and noradrenaline allows children to focus and concentrate on given tasks while maintaining an appropriate behavior. Chemically, methylphenidate contains several important functional groups. These are the aromatic ring, the ester, and the amide functional group. Like many other functional groups, Ritalin contains four types of stereoisomers. Journals from the American Chemical Society focus greatly on the erythro and thrio forms of Ritalin. These terms describe diastereomers that contain two adjacent chiral carbons without symmetric ends. When Ritalin was first marketed, both the erythro and thrio forms were contained within the drug. However, more studies were conducted that showed the thrio form was most biologically active and the erythro form contained negative side effects. Therefore, scientists concluded that the erythroform needed to be interconverted to the thrioform. Methylphenidate is synthesized in a series of six chemical reactions. To begin, 2-bromopyridine is coupled together with phenylacetonitrile in the presence of potassium tertiary and tetrahydrofuran. This coupling produces structure number two which is then treated with concentrated hydrochloric acid to hydrolyze the nitrile group into an amide to produce structure number three. Number three undergoes platinum catalyzed hydrogenation which removes the double bonds from the pyridine ring. Number four is then treat treated with concentrated HCl to eliminate the amide functional group and produce structure number five. Structure number five is then treated with 50% aqueous potassium hydroxide and secondly with hydrochloric acid to produce a racemic mixture of enantiomers. The racemic mixture then undergoes Fischer esterification in the presence of methyl hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. Fischer esterification involves a series of proton transfers, nucleophilic substitution, dehydration, and more proton transfers to produce an ester. The structure in the upper left hand corner contains a carboxylic acid functional group which undergoes a proton transfer to produce three resonant structures that are stabilized. Afterwards, the methyl hydroxide attacks the carbonyl up here 
via nucleophilic addition. At the same time, the pi bond breaks to produce the tetrahedral intermediate, as seen in the lower left-hand corner. Then the methyl hydroxide aids in two more proton transfers, which brings us to the dehydration step, which occurs internally to remove a molecule of water. Then you can see that we are left with three resonance structures of which the methyl hydroxide removes the hydrogen from the oxygen up here, leaving us with methylphenidate. In conclusion, Ritalin synthesis has helped many children, adolescents, and adults around the world when used appropriately.